I wake up in the morning and I couldn't remember my name or anything that had ever happened to me. I thought it might be amnesia. I went to see a doctor. He gave me a series of tests. He said, the good news is you do not have amnesia. The bad news is you don't have a name. And nothing has ever happened to you. That's a true story. I think. Vanessa Mendoza to the stage. Oh, 
part three here of rear window. Up early, clouds, downpour, clouds, vacuuming, washing the floor, making love almost an hour, fighting, fingering, playing around, torturing, exasperated progress. I tell her to keep her clothes on, I make it. She more orgasm. Wine. The thrusting gently into her wine filled with mouth. Naked I rise. The girl across the way is drying her hair in the sun. She's been to the beach, somewhere warm, no rain. She sips her coffee, shakes out her towel, sniffs her duffel bag. Our lovemaking has clear sky. Rear window, one, two, and three. My fellow amigo brother, John Padilla, is going to lay some words on And uh, Miss Vanessa has taken off. Thank you, Vanessa. Thanks for your value. The word. Hanging paper. Pain with forged checks. Jumbled up. Having a place to live. With specific living arrangements. All I know is that he's jumbled up with the guy he met at the gin mill last month. Last one. Off the cob. Corny, okay? Some of this is old meat slang. Family. 
reveal her presence singing of cool remembrance. Happy balls wrapped in swinging jazz. All this talk is a lot of work. As you can see, I've worked up a sweat. I'm sorry, if, if I don't sweat, I'll explode. He really does love me. <laughs> uh, I see a lot of uh, empty hands out here without a drink. Some new cool cats need to step up to the bar. See my man over there and have himself a cool drink. Cause I don't want you to be dry. Cause this guy is it, he's all wet. <laughs> John's drunk again. And when he gets like that, he buys drinks for everybody. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take a break and we're gonna let the band have at it for now. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 
the infamous Saxations. There's three more just like her. But she left them at home tonight and she brought her old man, Gino. Gino, how old are you? The dude is ancient. He's 14 years old. Don't ever start drinking or doing drugs because this you'll look like this 15-year-old right here. Paul. Ken Santiago on the keys again. Paul, the 15-year-old. Arajo on skins. Riding the D train. Notice the rooftops. The warm, the worm eaten downtown buildings, houses crawled by, each with its private legend. Anyone a mother is punishing her child slowly with great enjoyment. In one, a daughter is writing a novel she can't show to anyone. Notice your fellow writers. The Asian girl chewing a toothpick. The boy drawing trees on his hand. And the man in, in, in whose shoes don't match. Everything is important. That thin girl, for instance, in flowered dresses. Golden high heels. How did her eyes get scarred? Why is that old man crying? Why does that woman carry a cat in her pocketbook? Don't underestimate any of it. Anything you don't see will come back to haunt you. Wow. Maria. When I awake to the beat of life, full of angst, full of strife, when I awake to the beat of life, I see what can be and what isn't. When I awake to the beat of life, I want more, and we can all get there. A mermaid. I must be a mermaid. I have no fear. I have no fear of depth. And a great fear. And a great fear of shallow living. Of shallow living. I must be a mermaid. So we're just getting you warmed up for Detroit. Because you you think this is interesting. Wait till you see the show. You're gonna be like. Oh, this makes total sense now. Danielle, somebody wake up, Danielle. Yeah. Hey, man, put down that cigarette and come and lay some words down on these people. The seeds of success lives in the heart of the will. Think you're not outclassed. Think I'm outclassed. Sure, I'm confident is the way forward. From dawn of your life, you were but a winner. Fight your good fight. Battles may be lost or won. But make sure you win the war to be a conqueror. Think you can. Surely come. Miss Danielle. Melba, you ready to come up again? Let's bring up the other half. Melba. We've got about 20 minutes till showtime, so we're gonna just keep you 
entertained. The street light paces purple against the alley wall. In my bones there are memories of peppered youth. Old lovers see through consciousness like bad roofing. There are buckets to catch them, but I can't find them. Sleepless nights scratch like hot sand. Static bus misconceptions curl like hair into melancholy. How many men does it take? A raindrop. How many raindrops does it take to hide a tear? Wow, that was like ow deep. Ow, that was like ow. John's having a flashback to his morning meds. <laughs> Wow, man, that was deep. Jennifer, you ready to do it again? If you had a nickel for every time you heard that, Jennifer. Are you ready to do it again? She's ready. Or perhaps in memory, a long lost bloody cross buried in some steel cavalry. In what time? For whom do we bleed? Lost notes from some jazz man. So if you're just joining us, we are the Amigos Del Reps Dead Beat Poet Society group. Yeah. And this is the band with no name. We just call them Snaps, 45 second band. Chingon. Let's give it up for Chingon. And for all our poets we've heard so far, once again, we just heard Jennifer Paredes. That's John Padilla. Snaps for John Padilla. Mariel Iguera. Sitting on the steps. Melba and Daniel Novoa. And that man on the back of the room with that funny smirk on his face. Due to glaucoma. Glaucoma Meds, Brian Hernandez will be joining us again. Don't go nowhere, the show's about to start. This is just, this isn't even real. You are having a serious flashback, sir. Radio with guts. It was on the 
second floor on Coronado Street. I used to get drunk and throw the radio through the window. While it was playing, of course, it would break the glass in the window. And the radio would sit there on the roof still playing. And I'd tell my woman, ah, what a marvelous radio. And the next morning, I'd take the window off the hinges and carry it down the street to the glass man, who would put in yet another pain. I kept throwing that radio through the window each time I got drunk. And it would sit there on the roof and still play. A magic radio. A radio with guts. And each morning, I take that window back to the glass man. And I don't remember how it ended exactly, though I do remember we finally moved out. There was a woman downstairs who worked in the garden in her bathing suit. She really dug with that trowel and she put her up in the air. And I used to sit in that window and watch the sun shine all over that thing where the music played. That's the director, Brian Hernandez. If you want to see more of Brian's work, Check out the 10th Avenue Theater for the play that he wrote. It's called Tricks. And it's, it is opening April 4th? April 5th. April 5th. That many. It's on April. In April. Check out his work. So, thanks for joining us. We're going to leave you with some music and then we'll come back and say goodbye. You're going to still have time to get a little something refreshment before you see the show Detroit. We are the Amigos Del Rep. We have free readings here once a month, uh, usually the last Tuesday of every month. Next will be Wild in Wichita on March 25th. And then stay tuned for Club Cafe, which should be coming on April 1st tonight with the Fools. So let's hear some more of the band with no name. Leilani and Gino. Give it to
each other. Ladies and gentlemen, we're starting a seat for Detroit. Enjoy. It's a play by, it's the West Coast premiere, played by Lisa Palmer, directed by Sam Woodhouse. Yeah. And he's the understudy. The lead just fell down the stairs. I gotta go. Thank you for joining us. Peace, brother. Enjoy your evening. I'm gonna keep talking till everybody's gone. Get out of my house. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here in the lobby. Peace. So they asked us to stay.